Monday, July the 25th, 6.15 in the morning. I gotta gas up the truck, pick up the trailer, take the trailer to the tire shop, get the tires on the trailer changed, return the trailer, get back home, do some work, take lunch, take the Model X, pick up the boat, drop off the boat, bring the Model X home, finish some work in the afternoon, and then we're going to the lake. It's gonna be a busy day. Oh, dentist is in there too. Crap. $76.40. I am literally burning up my cash when I use gasoline. Cal Tire, 7 a.m. I learned something today on tire pressure that I did not know. I've been filling my uh, truck tires to about 45 PSI, 44 actually, because that's what it says on the tire. But apparently, you're supposed to fill it to what the vehicle says. So let me show you where that is on the truck and on the trailer. So in the truck, front, uh, pet, front driver door, there's a sticker right here. And there's the cold tire pressure, 35 PSI. On the trailer, we have a sticker as well and our cold weather PSI is 65. Time for a mid-morning coffee break. Towing the X-15 with the Model X, take one. This is our first towing adventure with the uh, Tesla Model X. Today we're towing a Mastercraft X-15. Towing the boat, that's what it looks like from inside the X when you turn on the rear camera. So we got nav, turn on the rear camera. And it tows nice and smooth. You can even barely even tell it's there. That was much faster than I thought it would be. Tammy lowered the trailer on the ball. First try, we got it hooked up. Now there's three steps you have to go through when you hook up a trailer. Um, step number one, we had to inflate the tires to their cold tire pressure, which in the Model X 20 inch rims is uh, 46 pounds per square inch, 46 PSI. There's a little bit of a time lag when you inflate the tire, so inflate it, check it with a, um, a handheld air pressure gauge. Step two, uh, raise your um, suspension setting to standard. Step three, put it into tow mode. That's it. We uh, hooked in the electrical, we did a brake check and uh, signal light check, and we're towing. And the only time I really feel there's uh, something behind me is when we're at a stoplight and I, and I say go. It kind of gets you that little as the trailer starts moving. So note to self, when you start going at the lights, just do it, ease into it. Ease don't into launch it. Don't off launch. every light like usual. I mean like usual. I don't do that, but yeah. in, for this is for others, for, for you on the interwebs, I don't do this, but others might. Right. Look at that! We're towing! We're towing a boat! 
This was uh, before when we just went to uh, get the boat, and this was shortly after we hooked up the boat. So our, our usage, watt hours per kilometer, went way up. Right now, we're sitting at 444, 442 watt hours per kilometer. So it's gonna be higher, we knew that it would be. I punched in one of the lakes that we go to, and the map is telling us that we would get to that lake with 48% of uh, rated range. So we could actually get the boat out to our camping site at the lake, and we could uh, set up. At that camping site, we'd be plugging in and charging the Model X, so we'd be full to uh, bring the, back, the boat back home. Pretty sweet. Right now we're doing 113. It's, uh, it's no problem accelerating. Passing people is going to be a dream on the highway if we need to. It's not like towing with uh, a gas vehicle. I've still got that Tesla speed that I'm used to, so bonus. And the biggest thing is no two trips for every camp for you, right? I'm down to one trip. Usually when we'd go camping, that's right, I would take the trailer out with the truck, make a run back to the city, hook up the boat, bring the boat out, and then I would, uh, at the end of the camping, I would bring the trailer back and the, the family, I'd go back out, pick up the boat, bring that back and put it all away. It's a real pain and got pretty expensive in gas. This is like the best tow vehicle ever. All right, check this out. We're doing 110 kilometers an hour. We're gonna pass somebody. Now we're doing 130, unbelievable. All right, so step one was to uh, get the tire pressure to 46 PSI. Now it wasn't 46 when the tires were cold. It looks like when they warm up, it goes a little bit higher. Step two, as we said, was to go into uh, controls, suspension, and set your suspension to standard. And step three is to go into driving and you put trailer mode to on. That's it. You're ready to tow. The trailer icon right there. Cute little blue one to let you know that you've got uh, a trailer hooked in. Down to 167 now. Average was uh, average for that trip was 407. 23. So not too bad at all. You do take a hit for towing, but we knew we would. There's power. tight spot so what I'll do is you know what I'm gonna get a uh, one of those um, I have it on the other trailer just uh, it's like a carabiner a screw-on carabiner put that on there and then this will hook into that because it'll be easier to get to this is so heavy-duty and we're good to go good job Cora Well, that's how you do a Monday, full speed ahead. Started out super early, went and picked up the trailer, got new tires put on the trailer, came home, did some work, went over to get the boat, dropped it off, had lunch, did some work, went to the dentist, let the dentist abuse me, did some more work, now we're done. Good night, everybody.